Carol, what a year it was for you, good sir. Obviously your first full year in the American Hockey League after uh, getting some taste last season, but the ups and downs, the highs and lows of the organization, the season, what's your biggest takeaway? Because uh, looking at the numbers, it was a pretty successful year for you. Yeah, I think that we can look at this year, um, you know, and think that it was an extremely successful year, um, you know, for, for the team and for myself individually. Um, you know, we had a great group, we had a great culture in the room, um, really good coaching staff. Um, I think we got a lot out of all of our players, which is, you know, the mark of, uh, you know, a really good organization. And I think everybody improved and, you know, myself included, and it, it was a pleasure to be a part of. Where did you feel your game excelled the most throughout the year? Um, you come in on an AHL contract, you impress, you wow, you play in all different kinds of scenarios, and then you land your first National Hockey League contract, and then the rest is uh, moving forward for you. I mean, where do you feel like, you know, this was the turning point for me, and what did you improve upon? Well, I knew when I signed here that it was a great opportunity with, you know, a lot of young players coming in, and um, I, I thought if I could just get in an organization and, be there on an everyday basis, kind of show the person that I am and, uh, you know, the fact that I'm going to bring it every day, then those things will eventually lead to getting more opportunities on the ice and more opportunity on the ice will in turn lead to, you know, better production and, and play. And, you know, throughout the course of the year, my goals kind of changed as I had achieved them and I couldn't necessarily, you know, ask for a better season personally. That was the ultimate goal was to get a, an NHL contract, which I was able to to get and um, like you said now I'm just trying to take this momentum and and use it uh, as a springboard for next year. Your line was the most consistent line for the Rockford Ice Hawks safe to say throughout the season and when Andreas Martinson and, and John Hayden were with you that was a big point of production and of course the skill levels of all ranges the experience of all ranges what did that group uh, help you do to help develop and, and push you to be a better hockey player? Well Marty's been one the one constant that I had all year um, you know the other line mate kind of rotated throughout uh, the year, but found a nice home with Hades there. And um, those, I can't say enough about those guys play, um, you know, especially Marty playing so many games with him. You start to realize the things that he brings to the table, what areas, you know, you want to get him the puck so that he can have success. And in turn, you know, he creates space and, uh, you know, makes a lot of space for myself, makes my game a lot easier. So to have that chemistry with, with him and Hades and, and the other guys that we've played with this year, um, you know, it was pretty special. Like you said, I think we were consistent in the way that we played, so it wasn't too surprising game to game. You know, we knew what we were getting into. We knew how we had to play, and, um, you know, the guys are true pro and, um, and played that way and brought it every night. A lot of your teammates listed you as the most improved player of the season uh, and from where it began to where it finished, but now obviously you're going to try and push yourself even further. What areas of your game do you feel like need that improvement to, to set yourself for an even better year next year? I think quickness in my game, you know, you know, it's something that I've worked on a lot and I think I played a lot of, of minutes this year at a higher pace than I've ever been used to. So, um, you know, I think I've improved a lot in that area as well. I think I need to maintain my strengths, um, you know, be smart hockey and, and playing hard every shift. And I think I showed that I can make some plays as well and, and you know, uh, show some skill when the time permits. So, uh, you know, it's, it's extremely exciting for me. I think I've come a long way this year and being an older prospect, um, you know, that's something that you have slight neuroses about, I think. So um, as long as you're on the upward trajectory, then uh, you know you never know when your opportunity is going to come and it comes at different ages for different players. Speaking of being a prospect now moving forward this summer of training and then into the camps you get to be a prospect with your brother. How exciting is that to go into a summer knowing that both you guys are going to be challenging each other and at the same time pulling on the same rope to to be successful here at the Blackhawks organization? Well that's all the motivation that we need. Um, you know I think when I went to watch his first game and we went down to see him and interact with you know, so a lot of the former Ice Hogs were, were up there at the time too, and it, and it felt like a comfortable environment. And that was the first time, you know, that I'd really felt that with an NHL team, obviously. And um, it's it's going to really push me in the summer to think that there's an opportunity that we could play together at that level. And um, I'm just going to work as hard as I possibly can and have faith that, you know, things will fall where they may. Will you get any downtime at all? I know uh, it's a shorter summer and camps be what it may, but uh, 
any chance to take a vacation, maybe get to enjoy some family time before hockey season ramps back up again? Yeah, my family takes a, a trip. That's the only time we really get to all be together in the summer uh, for an extended period of time. So um, we're deciding on where we're going. I think it's going to be in August this year. Uh, so we'll, we'll all be able to spend a, probably a week or 10 days away um, and just enjoy each other's company and, and really be together as a family. It's something that we don't get to do all that much with um, you know Dylan and I being away for the better part of uh, of our years. So I'm really looking forward to that, and uh, you know obviously see friends, family, girlfriend back at home too.